and we are recording. Hi everyone, it's Dave and Lee. Hey guys. Um, how you guys doing? How you doing, Lee? I'm solid. I have a finished project. Ooh, excellent. Do you want to talk about it first? Yes, we do not have to hear about the ornaments anymore, and it is <laughs> day because I finished them officially yesterday. Excellent. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that it got finished. So are you happy with the results? I am very happy. I accidentally made the tassels too long and this is my own fault. The instruction said make 10 inch tassels to hang them, the little loops. I made 12 inch tassels and I ran out of uh, the material for the tassels. Oh, okay. So I'll New York in two weeks. I will go to the shop. I'll pick more up, and then I just have to stitch that in. But okay. otherwise, done. They're all embroidered. Twenty-two of twenty-five are stuffed and done, and the three remaining are ones that I'll just get the extra tassel for. Excellent, excellent. So it's nice to have that sense of completion once you're done with the project. It is a wonderful feeling, but it's also kind of an emptiness because I don't know what I'm going to do next. The answer is spinning, but I have no other projects on the docket. Interesting. Now, would you ever do something like this project ever again? Oh, I already looked at my next kit. I'm going to make an advent calendar. Nice. So is is that like the same price and time invested in? Yeah, it'll be about the same cost, same time investment, and it'll be an advent calendar with 25 little ornaments that you hand embroider and then can pin onto your advent calendar. Oh, that's cool. Hopefully I'll get it done this year, but if I don't, there's always next year. I was gonna that was gonna be my next question, is is that a this year project or like a next year project? It's the next year project. Okay. Some things you just have to space out and do something else. I have a gift card that I have to use and I'll already uh, be there so I might as well use it. Ah, uh, okay. So that's a good motivation to buy another, so Yeah, I don't want it to sell out and be replaced with some other thing I'll inevitably buy. <laughs> that's always the trouble. There's always something that we're gonna end every by so yep. always always something else how was your week of crafting it was good um i did some general knitting but also i got i picked out the yarn that i'm gonna ma make the blanket for and i'm also gonna pick out the pattern so the yarn i'm um gonna use <laughs> is from oh I, i'm not gonna pronounce that correctly but oh, yeah i'm gonna put it I'm going to put it on, like, in the description below, because it, I did get it off of Etsy. Um, so, I've been, I, before I bought it, I was kind of drooling over it a little bit, so I, um... It, ooh, how many skeins did you get for a blanket? I got three. Um, so, it is, even though it's not going to, I'm going to use it for a blanket, because... Why not? I, I, I'll do what I want. <laughs> it's your life. You do what you want. Exactly. But I'm excited that I, the title of the yarn is Star Trek Into Darkness. It's too perfect. It's too yeah. perfect. That, yeah, that's kind of the reason why I bought some of this yarn from the shop, is that they de she definitely had kind of, kind of like nerdy titles of yarn, but I do like, I do, I did like, or do like, um, kind of what she does with it, because it is kind of multicolored, but it's all shades of blue. Um, yeah, it beautiful it looks gray on camera but it's blue it's well blue and probably some gray too um it, it reads like a little navy yeah like i also got like a red a couple skeins of red and one and i think maybe like one other one um but i'm super excited to use it so it's gonna be it's wool and nylon so i'm excited um yeah. Yeah, link her shop in the show notes. Absolutely. So, but I, she, I, I talked to her a little bit before I bought some, and uh, she was definitely very cool and easy to talk to. So, I would definitely want to prom promote her stuff. Um, but also, I'm just gonna. I decided. I went on Craftsy and kind of looked around to see what I wanted to do, and I just decided. If you guys haven't bought like a stitch book, I highly recommend 400 knitting stitches. Ooh. I I love it. It's all sorts of stuff. It goes from si simple stitches to cables to bobbins and some more slip stitches and some more double color and lacy stitches in the back. But I'm gonna go with basket weave. Like a no, that looks cool. 
looks lovely. Yeah. So I, it was definitely very weird for me just because I never knit for myself. Like, never knit for myself. So instead of trying to think of, like, what I, what other people might like, I actually have to think of, like, what I want and what I, like, what I'm going to enjoy. So it was definitely kind of a interesting experience for me because I, whether it's for friends or for selling or giving away, like, I never usually knit for myself, so. Wait, maybe I knit for myself. I think I might shop my, shirt, my stash tonight. Yeah, so. I don't know. Like, I, I guess it was just, I'm weird. Be weird. Yeah. That's why we're friends. Yeah, exactly. That's why we're friends, but. So, speaking of next projects, you said you're going to go into spinning? Yes, I am going to spin something up. May or may not be done by the time I'm in New York next, but if not, I will just mail it to you. That's fine. That's fine. But are you leaning towards a certain color or batting or anything like that? It is the fiber that's currently on my bobbin on my wheel. Oh, excellent. And that finished so that I can have that bobbin back. That's a good motivation as any. I am not going to spend another 40 bucks on a bobbin. Don't get me wrong, they're beautifully made. That's not the point. <laughs> not finishing is a bad idea yeah that's sometimes you have to learn that you can't buy extra just so that you can put off finishing stuff yeah no i have six bobbins which is the perfect number of bobbins for me and what i like to ply but it means i can't have multiple spinning projects at a time gotcha so that's good i mean i yeah. know I've... i just keep on over at the wheel as like my nemesis but <laughs> The thing that I love. So that's what crafting is. Your nemesis that you love. Yeah, it's a friend. It's a friend of me. Yeah. So, are you excited to get back to spinning at all, or? I am excited. I'm excited that I finally got the four ramekins back that I had put all my beads in for my embroidery project, so that we have ramekins again. Excellent. That's it, good. I'm feeling having kitchen stuff back that I repurposed. <laughs> Willing to buy containers for the crafting, so I thought let's repurpose something. But repurposing means it is out of your life for the time that you are using it. Yes, very much so. I mean, that's always the trouble. Is every time I move, I have to figure out the new dis like how I'm gonna dis display stuff, but also like make sure it's an effective way of storage. So it's always a yeah. Challenge. I love what you've done though. Thank you. I I'm very happy with it too. It's cost effective it's off the ground and it's sturdy so and also it keeps my stash relatively small because like everything's filled right now like all all like all of my i'm just gonna look this up like everything's like full like it's actually on top so like i can't really buy more right now so which is good i am in a similar boat and I'm okay with that. Yeah. I mean, the only time I, I'll i buy is if I'm making something for someone so it specifically gets used and gets out. Yeah, those are in and out scans, but I have some lifers. Yeah. That's also another thing. There, there's been a couple of things that's been just sitting on my shelf for a while that I just actually need to use so I can get it out and kind of move on to something else. Yes, the move on is exactly what I need. Yeah, so I'm excited. I I'm excited for this weaving because I like you have not shown me what you're weaving and I kind of don't want to know until I get the package and open it up. Until you see what I spin up, you're not going to see it at all before. Yeah, I I'm okay with that and I feel like what I should do is just open it when we podcast and that way we can it'll be an unboxing a live unboxing. <laughs> Less. Sega? I would expect nothing less. Okay, that's what I'll do. Once you send it, um, then I'll open it and we can go through the excitement of yarn and talk about what I will make with it. It sounds all wonderful to me. Oh yeah. I'm excited for it. So start, get, get spinning, okay? My project this week. Good. Good. Excellent. You can't start on anything else for yourself. Oh, I know. When you put it that way, it doesn't sound like I have a choice. Yeah, exactly. But that's what friends are for. Good. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. 
So I think that's a good note to wrap it up for today. Um, so we will see you all next week. Bye. Bye, guys.